so my name is Dennis. I'm working at JetBrains on uh, RubyMine and uh, WebStorm. And uh, I'm the man behind the RubyMotion integration in the RubyMine. Uh, I'm from St. Petersburg. And uh, some of you may know that you don't need a color pr printer to print a photo from St. Petersburg. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to tell you about the RubyMine. RubyMine used to be uh, Ruby and Rails IDE, but since uh, version 5, it's also uh, RubyMotion IDE. So, <laughs> let me show you some nice features that we have. Uh, So uh, I'm going to write a small uh, application that's going to spell check your text. And uh, I'm going to cheat a lot during that. So uh, let's start from the very beginning. RubyMine covers the whole uh, application, RubyMotion application development cycle. So you can uh, easily create the application from the RubyMine. You can just select the Ruby SDK and uh, the template. So uh, I'm not going to generate a new one. Let's uh, just uh, use the one that I have. So uh, we have seen a uh, lots of uh, promotion awesomeness, and uh, I'm actually not going to use it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'll do this all old-fashioned way with the new window. As you may see here, we've got the auto-completion automatically popping up. Uh, so I'm creating a new window. For And uh, I'm going to set up a new controller. Uh, as you may see here, uh, the uh, auto-completion list is uh, automatically adjusted uh, ba based on the uh, on how how often you use the method. So you may see that root view controller goes up before other stuff here. And uh, you may see also in the project tree that I don't have uh, any spelling controller yet. And uh, that's the... Uh, feature I like a lot about the IDE. It's based on uh, idea and uh, in every our IDE you can just create a new class from usage. So let's come back to the uh, our dart delegate. So uh, to make this a controller we need to extend the UI view controller. You may see that auto completion works here too. And uh, I'm going to uh, create a new web view. Um, also, there is a really nice way to override the existing methods. It's called override uh, action. And uh, I'm going to override the view did load method. As you may see, uh, RubyMine automatically inserts the super, super call. And it's uh, like very useful for view did load because if you don't insert it, 
you have uh, lots of troubles. Uh, as I've said before, I'm going to cheat. So because I uh, already wrote all the code, I will simply revert this stuff using the built-in uh, VCS integration. So here it goes. And uh, here are our methods. Uh, one of the other nice features that I wanted to show you is the quick documentation pop-up. Uh, you can invoke it on the Ruby method or on Objective-C method. Um, and it shows you uh, the uh, documentation for method. And it can be just anything. So it shows you the parameters, the return value, and stuff like that. So uh, we are mostly done with the application. Uh, and I'm going to show you the web view that I'm going to use. So here are our uh, web page here. Uh, and even if you, you descend to the dark side of the web view, you still have all the code inside and all the navigation stuff. So I can easily go to the declaration of the text change method from, from here up to the declaration. And uh, also, I can use the emmet here with something like So if you want to create a, a web page, for example, for your application, you can just keep stuff inside the Ruby mine. So uh, we've, we've done with the writing application. Let's run it. Uh, Ruby mine integrates with the rake, so uh, everything you can do with uh, Command line you can do with the Ruby mine. Let's start our application on the simulator first. goes. And uh, of course, RubyMine integrates with the RubyMotion REPL. And we can do anything we want here. And as you may see, the auto-completion works here, too. Uh, so the simulator is fine. But what if we want to run the application on the device. It's absolutely possible. And we can not only run the application, but also debug it. So uh, for, I think the first line should be able to see it. I have the application running. And I can type something. And you see the uh, application stops on the breakpoint. 
and we are able to see the local variables of the methods. And uh, we are also able to drill into the objects and see the uh, arrays content here. Uh, and we can also try to look at some different stack frames. or even at the uh, Ruby motion boilerplate code here. Uh, so uh, we can run on the simulator and on the device. And uh, as all of you may know, the TDD is dead. <laughs> uh, but we still have the support. I think we probably need to remove it. <laughs> And uh, you can run and uh, debug the tests both on the simulator and the, on the device. So I'm going to run it here. So it stops on the breakpoint. And uh, also you can you see the test tree. You can see that we have one test passing. One test is currently at the breakpoint. Uh, so that's about running the application. So uh, we have created application and uh, we want to refactor it because we want to do some improvements. Uh, RubyMine offers a lots of refactorings and uh, all of them work with the, uh, with the RubyMotion too. So let's, for example, take this line. I think it's quite long and uh, let's uh, extract variable here. We can select what we want to extract and it suggests us a uh, pretty good name here. And uh, also, it can look for, for example, if we have two different lines. It will replace both of them. Uh, but sometimes we don't need a new variable and we think that's a little bit verbose and we can inline the variable and replace the usage with the actual uh, declaration. Also, uh, when I started writing this application, I was looking on some uh, demo app that was uh, written by the app code guys and they uh, use some web service to uh, do actual spell checking. And that's why we have the class here, web service, uh, which actually doesn't go to the, any web service. So let's uh, make it more correct and rename it to the just spelling service. As you may see here, uh, we have uh, all the usages uh, inside the controller. And also inside the test files. And if we press do refactor, it updates the references automatically. So you don't need to do any grepping or find searching by path, stuff like that. Uh, so uh, that's, I think, almost everything I wanted to show you in the demo. 
I have a couple of uh, useful links. So first one is the demo project. Uh, you can try it. The second one is the special web page for uh, our Ruby Motion integration, uh, which shows you the most important highlights. And uh, I know lots of people, uh, I think lots of people here doing some startups and uh, we have a pretty big discount for the startups. And um, you can go and uh, to the third link and see the details. And also I wanted to thank uh, Laran for not breaking the things very often, at least from our integration point of view because Lots of people in Ruby world tend to break everything with every minor, minor release. And uh, Maran is keeping it cool. <laughs> and also I wanted to thank the app code team because the whole debug in debugging integration is uh, based on the debugging integration written by app code team. And for those of you who still need to write some objective C code and uh, so for those who feels the pain of launching Xcode, you can try the app code and that may be the solution for you. So that's it. <laughs>